What's going on guys? This is your boy Miles Cunningham. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to Lucario. Shout out to all the supporters. Everybody that's on the Bad Boy membership. Everybody that's on the Patreon. Whether they're checking out the Bad Boy show or the Confident show. Uh, everybody that calls in on the live streams. Even when we don't agree. You feel me? Uh, everybody that donates. Everybody that's in the chat. We really appreciate you guys. Um, you, you know, like I say, you guys... Keep the keep the show going so we can keep the game flowing, and that's important. All right. So, um, <clears throat> a lot of guys been you know commenting about you know my weight loss journey and everything like that. So I just wanted to do a video, kind of telling you guys what I did, and you know, um, and y'all see it's, it's been working for me. I lost about sixty pounds altogether because I made it up to two sixty, and right now. I'm around two. I like I fluctuate right now between 195 and 200. Um, so that's a good thing. I feel better. Uh, I like what I see in the mirror more. You know what I'm saying? Like it's you know it's real shit. Like uh, I have more confidence. Um, I mean I always had confidence, but now it's like you know I put in work and I see the results, so I have even more confidence when it comes to that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I just want to let you guys know what I did. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm less, just letting you know what I did, right? So um, I've always been the type of dude that went to the gym. Um, I've always been active, but I'm also, just because of like, I guess the type of body I have and my eating habits, I always kept weight and I always, you know, gained weight. And as I got older, you know, my metabolism slowed down. So I was eating the same way for most of my life. And then after around age 30, I just started blowing up. I'm age 38 now, so you know, you, you get the point. Um, and so I've always, but I've always been in the gym. I've always, like I said, been active. Uh, you know, I ain't no lazy nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm out there, like I'm walking, jogging, riding my bike, you know, in the gym or whatever. Uh, but one thing I noticed though, that when it came to my weight loss journey is that, um, I used to, I used to always have a gym membership, you know, like a regular gym membership. So I used to always go to the gym now. What would happen is I would get really, I would get really excited, go to the gym, and like those first, you know, two or three weeks, I'd be in there heavy, you know what I'm saying, doing, you know, doing my reps, whatever, whatever, and then after that first week, it would kind of get, it would kind of fall off, you know what I'm saying, I would kind of like, I would kind of, you know, not take it as seriously as I needed to, and skip days, and, and then a day becomes a week, and a week becomes a month, and all that shit, so... It's like I've always struggled with that, right? So what I did to kind of combat that was, uh, and this is an important point, is to find a, find structure in your gym membership or in your gym situation, right? So what I ended up doing was I found, I got a, instead of just having a membership to a gym, I also, in addition, I got a membership to a fitness club, okay? Not just a gym, but a fitness club, meaning that they have... They have classes, specific classes. So it's like a boot camp, right? Um, and I'm sure you guys have boot camps around your, wherever you live around your city or maybe even a CrossFit. You know, if you really, I did CrossFit for a while and actually was extreme. And they, it was, it was a little bit too much for me. I, I actually injured my groin and all that shit. So I don't recommend CrossFit if you're just starting out. I mean, if you already a fit dude and you're fit for life, whatever, like CrossFit is cool. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know if CrossFit is for everybody because I tried it out and it wasn't for me. I got I got injured and that shit was just too much. But but anyway, I got with a, um, a fitness studio and they have they have designated classes. So the thing was, I would and they have morning classes and evening classes and sometimes and they used to have uh, midday classes too. But anyway, the point is is that there was a little bit of structure in with the classes. There's structure. So even if I went to the gym and I, and I didn't feel like going hard. As long as I showed up and uh, participated in the class, I, I still got to do shit. You understand what I'm saying? So it's kind of like I just left it on autopilot, right? It's kind of like if you're trying to save money in the bank and it's like sometimes you don't remember to, to force yourself to put away money when you're saving it. So then you set up an automatic you know, thing to transfer money from your paycheck to your savings account and you forget about it. And then when you look, it's like, boom, you have a whole bunch of money saved. So it's the same kind of thing where it's like, I just go to the fitness studio, participate in the classes. And it's like my fitness situation is on autopilot. You understand what I'm saying? Um, 
So that's one thing I did. So I joined the fitness studio and I did boot camp type classes, not just going to the gym. And because just to be honest, I didn't have all the motivation in the world just to do it by myself. So I, I changed my situation. I realized my weakness and I changed my situation and I got into a, a, a fitness studio situation with more structure. So all you got to do, all I had to do is participate in the classes and I'm burning cal calories and I'm doing what I have to do when I, when I participate in the classes, right? So that's one thing I did. And then the second thing I did was um, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't like ashamed or I didn't feel any way to talk about my situation. So I would talk to the, to the instructors and my classmates or the other people that come to the classes at, the, at my fitness studio about different diets and things. So they started to tell me about this thing called keto. And I, and I would hear things and see things about it online, but I was like, I don't, I don't want this. Every, you know, every fucking day they come out with something new. But I saw a couple of like chicks in my class, they was losing weight with the shit and losing it real fast. And it was like, yo, you should try, you should try keto. You should try keto. And I was like, what is that? You know, and they started telling me about keto and this, that, and the third. And then, and then even my sister got on it for a little bit. She was telling me, oh, you should try keto because the food that you eat is, is still good food and it's delicious and you're not eating like, you know, nuts and berries and shit. You're still eating good food. You know what I'm saying? Like good tasting food and, and all of that. So I was like, all right, cool. But what I realized was that again, I needed structure. I needed some type of structure. So I found this dude on um, on Facebook. His name is Dr. Berg, and he has a kit, right? He, he he he's a keto expert, so to speak, and he has a kit. So I bought his kit, and his kit comes with two books and um, some supplements, right? So um, the books, so the the books that it come with is the Healthy Keto Plan. It's a thick ass book. You understand? I'll be honest, I did not read this book. I looked through it a couple of pages. I looked at some of the chapters that I found interesting and I looked through some shit. I didn't read this shit. But luckily, he made a little pamphlet joint, like a little, you know what I'm saying? A little joint, and it's called um, Healthy Keto and Intermittent Fasting. You see what I'm saying? This is what I read. I read this shit from uh, uh, cover to cover. And the basic idea in this was he was explaining what keto was. And keto is training your body to burn uh, fat as fuel as opposed to carbohydrates. So what it is, is most of your meal, most of the food that you eat is proteins and green vegetables. So you deprive your body of carbohydrates. So now your body has to learn how to use fat as fuel. You understand what I'm saying? That's the basic idea of it. There's a lot more to it. Like another important thing I learned in this book is that it explained that if you have belly fat or excessive fat on your body, especially in your midsection, you have issues with your blood sugar and your insulin uh, levels. You understand that that's what causes you to be overweight and that's what causes you to store a lot of fat. And that point was very, that hit home for me because I was like, damn, a nigga like me, I, 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 you know, I work out a lot, I do this, I do that, and I still gain weight. So it really, it really came down to changing up my diet and getting the information that's in this book to help me realize what, like what, what my body was doing with the food that I was putting in, you understand? And why changing the food that I'm putting in makes sense, you understand? Again, I'm only telling you what I did. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm telling you what I did to, to lose my weight. So this book was like, this was the thing for me, you understand? And when I read this, it kind of opened my eyes and let me see that, hey, my body, my body is a certain way and I have to make some changes. I really have to make some changes, okay? So, so uh, check this out. I'll put the link in the description um, for, his, for this kit, right? And then it also came with some, um, some uh, other supplements. So this is the electrolyte powder. This is what I, I have this when I'm doing my workout. You know, it's like, it's like Gatorade, but it doesn't have any sugar because it uses stevia. And, and stevia is something that allows you to maintain your blood sugar levels, right? And also in the book, it explained how your when you eat sugar and carbohydrates, your blood sugar levels spike up, and then they, and then because they go so far up, they come all the way back down, and then that's what causes you to feel more hungry and all that other type of shit. So it's a lot of great information in there. And then this is also the wheatgrass juice. This I like to take this um, at the like at the end of the day before I go to bed, like because because I do because this is um. Keto and intermittent fasting. So the other thing that I do is that I uh, 
I only have one meal a day, one main meal a day, right? And then, and then at the end of the day, before I go to bed, because I eat in the middle of the day, right? I have my meal, one meal in the middle of the day, then I go work out. But after a workout, you start to feel a little bit hungry. This thing helps out because, again, he uses stevia in this, uh, Dr. Berg, he puts stevia in this. And so it kind of helps you deal with hunger. You know that hunger that you have right before you go to sleep? Because that's what makes you eat late at night and all that type of shit. So you have a little bit of hunger. And so I would, I would, you mix this with water and you, and you drink it and it's, and it's pretty good. And then there's also, uh, he has these um, nutritional yeast tablets. Uh, this is... This is basically another thing that gives you energy when you're feeling really hungry, right? So if you're feeling really hungry, but you want to maintain your fasting and your intermittent, intermittent fasting, you, uh, you you can take some of this and it, it helps with the hunger, right? So that's basically, so it's this, it's this whole kit. It's this whole kit, all this shit right here. And this is what I use on a, on a regular, like on a daily basis, right? And, and like I said, I practice... I practice healthy keto and intermittent fasting. So research this stuff. Like I said, I'll put the link to the description if you want to check out this. Uh, if you want to check out this link, um, so you can, you know, if you want to buy it, try it out, or whatever. Um, let me see what else. Yeah. So basically, what I did was again um, for my weight loss journey, I maintained structure in my workout. You know, in my workout regimen, meaning that I joined a boot camp class. Uh, instead of just putting all of the the uh, the motivation to work out on on myself, I kind of put myself in a situation where it, it kind of forces me to work out on a regular basis. And then that's when that's when I got in touch with people to actually help me with my situation, right? And then they turned me on to keto, right? And then when I got in touch with with this guy, Dr. Berg, he 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 talks about healthy keto and intermittent fasting. You understand? So that's what really gives gave me my uh my um my weight loss you understand um i was able to lose like i said about 60 pounds and you know i've been able to keep it off for the last few months even with this covid 19 shit and not being able to go to the gym because my gym just opened up two weeks ago but i've been you know y'all see my videos I, I do sprints i do uh burpees and stuff and you know losing weight feels good man losing weight just feels good you you can do more like there's less pressure on my knees you know, like I wasn't able to do sprints when I when I weighed two sixty. You see what I'm saying? Cause my knees was killing me with all the weight I had on me and shit like that. You know, um, I do a little bit of boxing as well. Uh, boxing is real good, and that's another thing with the with the fitness uh, studios. Their instructors do other things, so you don't just have to use the classes. You can actually sign up for like you know one on one personal training with those instructors. Cause I I see I also another thing that I do is um, I have. I have a, a personal trainer for like weightlifting and, and regular stuff. And then I also have a boxing trainer. So I see the boxing trainer on Saturday morning and I see my personal trainer on Sunday morning. You know what I'm saying? So that's all the stuff that I'm doing right now. Um, there's a few other things that I'm doing. I'll probably make other videos because this video, is, I didn't want it to be this long, but I think it's getting long. So I'm going to chill. Um, but I got a couple of other things that I do. Like I use a fitness tracker. I have a, uh, I have a vest that, uh, uh, what they call a sauna vest where you, you put that on and it makes you sweat more and all these different things. But I'll do more videos and I'll put the links to those things in the description so y'all can check them out for yourselves if you want to try it. But like I said, this is what I do to, to keep my weight off. I'm not telling you to do it because I'm not a physician. If you, any of the stuff that I'm saying, you might want to check with your doctor because I don't want no lawsuits or no nonsense. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm just letting you guys know what I did for my weight loss journey. So it's your boy, Miles Cunningham. The truth is inside you. Peace.